Hello and welcome to setting a Linux virtualization in the Windows Operating System Part 4. At this point, VirtualBox should be installed along with Ubuntu in your VirtualBox. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to share files between Windows and Ubuntu and how to use USB in your VirtualBox. At this point, start up VirtualBox like we always do. Uh, again, you'll probably only have one operating system, but uh, for this I've been working off the demo. Uh, plug in your USB. And we're actually going to go over how to configure USB first, uh, since that's the easier of the two projects. And uh, you're going to go to setting, uh, you're going to go to USB, and then here we're going to say add a new USB filter uh, with all the fields set to the value selected. So this basically means anything that's attached it'll see. So I'll bring this over so you can see it. <coughs> And uh, this is the name of my uh, USB that uh, is plugged in. So I'm just going to add that. That's going to enable USB 2. Just leave everything checked. Say OK. And now you can uh, start your operating system. So at this point, uh, we restarted Ubuntu. Um, and hopefully your USB will be detected. Uh, if not, here are some potential issues. Uh, the USB cannot be read between your guest and host operating system at the same time. So, uh, if your uh, guest operating system doesn't have control of it, uh, more than likely the host, in this case Windows, has control of it. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, unmount it or uh, eject it in Windows and then reinsert it while you're in the Ubuntu operating system. Uh, at that point then it should pop up and then you should have access to your USB. Um, <clears throat> sometimes too, when you unmount uh, the USB, uh, you may have to uh, restart the Ubuntu uh, operating system. At this point, we're gonna add our shared folder. So you're gonna go up to Devices, Shared Folders, and here we're going to add uh, a folder. So the folder path, pretty much be anywhere you want to set something up. Uh, if you want access to your Windows stuff, uh, you may want to do something in your documents, wherever that path may be. Uh, for me, it could be under Atom, and then all of these uh, files would be shared. But for me, I simply want to share my D drive, because that's where all of my data is located. I guess if you really wanted to, you could try sharing your entire C drive, but uh, it's up to you whatever you want access to. So. I'm just going to label mine a D a hyphen drive. Case sensitivity does matter in Linux, so just remember exactly what you put here because we're going to need that for later on. And we're going to say make permanent and say OK. And then you say OK to this. So the next step is to uh, create a folder in our Linux operating system that will link um, to the shared folder. So we just need to create a blank folder. And I personally like to put it on the desktop. If you want to, you can put it in documents, music, pictures, videos, wherever you want to place it. Uh, you can go back to the root folder, and then under root folder, uh, there would be something called like a media folder. You could place it there, wherever you want to place this thing. But uh, to make things simple, for the demo, I'm going to place it in desktop. I'm going to right click, say create folder. And then I'm just going to call this window share. Again, this could be called anything you want it to be, but just remember what you call it and then close out, and it'll show up on the desktop. Okay, just as a side note, um, if you follow the first steps, uh, keep that folder, um, but I wanna show you how to do the exact same thing using the terminal and some kind of code for the hardcore uh, geeks out there. So, uh, as you can see, I've deleted my folder. If you keep the folder, this probably this won't work, but I just wanted to show you uh, how you can also do this. So, I'm gonna go up to Applications, Accessories, Terminal, and you're going to type uh, uh, mkdir. This will make a directory. You're going to do slash home slash demo. And your probably won't be called demo. This is the username. So if your username is Adam or John, uh, instead of demo, it'll be the username. Slash uh, capital D, which is very, very important. Desktop. Uh, slash, and then this is whatever you want the folder to be called. So I still want it to be called Windows uh, Share, and then I'm going to hit Enter, and then I'm going to type Exit. And if I did everything correctly, uh, it should show up on the desktop. So uh, it's the exact same thing as the first step, uh, except uh, I just use some hardcore, well, not really hardcore, but I basically I, I just use uh, some commands to do the exact same thing. So the next step is to link our folder 
um, our shared folder to this folder. So right now, if I double click on this folder, it's blank. There's nothing there. So uh, in order to do this, uh, we have to go up to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. And uh, here, what we're going to type in uh, for the first part is sudo. Uh, this will force, this is an administrative task. Uh, this first part will force us to ask for a password and allow us to do this. We're going to say mount space hyphen t space v uh, box sf. And then here we're going to type uh, whatever we called our shared uh, on the virtual box. So if you want to check that, devices, shared folders, I called mine D hyphen drive, uh, whatever yours is called, that's fine. But just type whatever you have. And then here um, I'm going to type uh, whatever uh, we created that folder. So for me it is uh, slash home slash demo. Remember again, this demo is just your username. A slash, uh, capital D for desktop. And then whatever our folder, whatever you called your folder. So I called mine Windows Share. And then you're going to hit enter. It's going to ask for a password. And that should be it. So now you should be able to just type exit. And now when we open up the Windows Share, uh, I have all my folders. So uh, what I want to do now is I just uh, want to show you uh, this exact same setup um, what you guys are uh, used to uh, under Windows. So here I'm just going to go to my data, downloads, uh, network shared, permanent files, and uh, I have the exact same thing, downloads, network shared, permanent files. So now I can quickly uh, uh, use both files in my guest operating system or my host operating system. So here's the bad news. Uh, since this is an administrative task, the next time you log in, uh, you would have to do that exact same thing. Go to the terminal, type that exact same code, uh, and do that every time you launch your operating system, which is a real hassle. So uh, I figured out uh, a workaround, uh, reading through forms, um, and uh, so far this seems to work pretty well. So if you do, in fact, want this to um, uh, launch into your this folder to launch into your uh, shared folders uh, every time you start your operating system uh, we are going to edit a quick file so go up to applications accessories terminal again uh, what we are going to do is we're going to type sudo again because this is an administrative function uh, G E D I T uh, space slash etc slash rc dot local okay and um, <clears throat> here uh, this is basically a text file that we're going to be putting the code uh, right here and um, that's why I didn't have us back up because this is uh, everything with the pounds is basically a note uh, so this just explains how this uh, uh, script that's kind of in the background works so um, again, uh, this time you don't need to type sudo, but we need to type mount space minus t f space, your folder name, which again is the drive for me, uh, could be anything for you guys, uh, slash home slash again username. And uh, that should be it. Uh, if this doesn't work, I can always go back and edit this uh, folder. Or if you ever want to take this out, feel free to do that. Um, but you just save it. Quit. And what, uh, what we're going to do next is we're just going to quickly test this. So I'm just going to restart my system and see what happens. So I just got done uh, restarting my uh, Linux operating system. Let's see if this worked. And I have access to my shared folder. Um, which is fantastic. So that code will get uh, ran every time the Linux operating system first boots up. And that's all I have to do. It'll automatically connect me to my shared folders. And you could probably set this up for multiple folders. So you could call it Windows Share 1. You could have Windows Share 2. Uh, and then just repeat that code uh, and share as many folders between uh, your host operating system and guest operating system as you want to. This concludes the tutorials on setting up your own Linux OS inside a Windows OS. Thanks for watching.